In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV that is jailbroken using Kodi. From the main Amazon menu, you can go down to Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications, scroll down to Kodi which is the program you'll use to access the movies and TV shows. Launch application. It will then bring you into this menu. If you go to the videos tab, scroll down to add-ons, which will give you a list of all the add-ons that are installed. Or you can go into the settings and do shortcuts to those add-ons, as you can see here. Exodus replace Genesis and this is the main add-on that I use for movies and TV shows we'll go into this first time you come in it'll give you an update just click the back button you'll see a menu that will give you options for movies TV shows channels etc go into movies you then have sub menus. What I generally use is people watching or most popular. We'll go on the most popular. You'll notice it'll work while it's loading. It'll show an icon at the bottom right hand corner. Then you're going to see the most popular movies. Movies that are in the theater will show a cam copy as a source. I typically avoid those and go to ones that do have a regular copy, which I'll show you with an example on this one. This screen will show loading in the sources. It takes a moment. Once this menu pops up, it'll show you a list of all the sources that are being pulled in for this particular movie. This is that screen. You'll see 1080p, HD, HD. I normally use the HD or the standard definition, SD copies. Uh, the buffering can be pretty high with the 1080p and even the HD copies so we'll try this third source here remember if you're ever having trouble you can always back up to this menu and choose a different source if the one you chose isn't working that particular one appears to be working here you do have the option to pause fast forward so this seems to be a good copy while that's planned you do have the option to go back so if we needed to choose a different source you would have that option and of course you can go back to the previous menu to select a different movie you can even back up to the TV shows and then start looking for a different option. You'll notice that the same movie I selected originally is still playing in the background. So here's your different sources. Pretty much we'll go through the same option with these. Click the source. load in the sources here this part takes the longest time when going from file to file the 
the streams come in. We'll go ahead and choose the third one here again. That'll load in and it should start playing. There you go. So that's with two examples of a TV show and a movie. We'll go back out to the main menu. Again, you have your shortcuts here. If you wanted to go to add-ons, you would see them here as well. You can go over to programs and use this maintenance tool to clear if you ever run into problems with it saying the storage is full or you're having issues you can go to general maintenance and clear cache and I didn't really have anything because it's a brand new setup but that would clear all of your history and typically that will work for you Well, that's a brief overview of using. Of course, you can go to these other add-ons to access movies. This one has sports where you can access those. These are going to bring in games that are being streamed. Not all the sources will be provided here. You just got to go through and see which ones have sources so you can watch the games either live or after they've been played. Well, thanks for watching the video today.